Zena from Pellerini, and this is Heather from Local Mom Scoop, and we are Soho Moms on the Go. So we're here today at Rock Burger, the new Rock Burger in Delray. Yes, that's Delray. Yeah, so it's awesome, and we're here. Oh yeah, we're So hey, this is our mixologist mom today, Stephanie. She's got a two-year-old girl, so she gets it, mom. So. Um, she is here today and she is going to be making a signature cocktail. We are so excited. Yeah. And something that we think she especially picked it out for you, something that we think that all of us moms out there really need every once in a while. Yeah. So do we want to do the cocktail ready or even yes. a rock burger? Do you want to do like? Let's do a rock burger first. Okay, so Rock Burger um, is a gourmet burger bar that just opened. It's right on Atlantic Avenue. And um, it's super fun. It's um, it's got like a modern day gastro pub with an old school. They're saying old school dedication to service and quality. And um, they have 18 signature burgers here. That's awesome. That's insane. But you can still custom your make your own. So you which is good too. Yeah. And what else? You can um, apparently they have 15 handcrafted signature cocktails and something like that as well. So I mean, if you're gonna come in here. You're going to find the burger you like, yeah. and you're probably going to find the cocktail you like. So, yeah, that's great. So, I am so excited. Um, you want to get started? Yeah, so we're going to our cocktail. Oh, it's Saturday! We're so excited! I know. God, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. And my yeah, burger. Exactly. So, and you want to talk about it? Yes, right. Yeah. Yeah. We are late. Do we need to start the <laughs> drinking about it? Okay. We're making a drink. That's making right. a drink. Okay, so Stephanie's going to show us how to make. I want to make for you guys the honey. Oh my gosh, 
So this whiskey smells, it's the rose honey. It smells like almost vanilla. Yeah, kind of. You didn't even cheers me, you just went for it. I'm like, okay for the drink, I'm sorry. Wow. Definitely strong. Is there a, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. But I feel like. Do you like it? Yeah. Like, like I could but it's definitely this. Like, this could be refreshing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, see, I, I think I could sip this, and you're like. See, I'm like. <laughs> this is I'm why this thing's up on me, too. Oh, really? We need with that, but you know, See, we need like, like these every day at like five to sneak up on us. In our sippy cup. So we can get through a bedtime <laughs> yes. routine with our kids. So, you know. This is awesome. She's a two-year-old, so she has to shoot it and then go. Yeah. <laughs> because she's going to the potty or somewhere. <laughs> okay, so I, I don't want to put something on the spot, but we were talking about kids, mm -hmm. and we were talking about my Carlin conversation this week about poop. So we're having whiskey and poop, you know. We, that's all you talk about is mom, but I wanted to ask her, like, what, what's one thing your mom has been amazing about having your daughter? Yeah, Rosemary. 
This would be a good one, especially on a hot day. Um, hold on. It is so nice out right now. If you're if you're... Hi, Annie. Oh, hi, Annie. Hold on. If you are in Florida, anywhere in the rural area, and you're not outside, you need to go outside because these are the days that we dream of and we wait for. Yeah. It's the weather, right? Long and eighty-three, and it's the day that it was when it's freezing and not humid. Yeah. And not humid. Yeah. Yeah. Your dog's not going to Makes my nostrils flare just a little bit. Maybe it helps you. It does go on my back. Oh, it does. Maybe it's medicinal. Maybe we're going to have to look that up. When I get sick, I'm like, I am trying to get my crazy tips for cold. We've already talked about this. Hi, Shana. Shana hooks us up tonight. She got yeah, us into rock so burger. Rosemary whiskey. We wish you were here. Rosemary honey. honey whiskey. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is great. So, um, what's been going on this week? You have, oh my god, I had a crazy week again. I had a again. Kid again. Yeah. So, again, it's like, but everybody, every time I go on Facebook, the common denominator is, see, I'm in math mode right now. <laughs> the common denominator is, I can't get rid of this cough. Right. So um, everybody's got this. It's crazy. So I'm thinking we need to come to Rockburger and get some rosemary whiskey, <laughs> and that'll make it all better. Yeah. There you go. Um, they have a gorgeous outdoor garden. Yeah, yeah like courtyard. That's so this is cool. the perfect time to come and just eat that burger. Yeah. Enjoy the weather. Yeah. Yes, and outside. I mean, it's nice inside, but it's yeah. gorgeous weather out right now. And it's not too crazy yet. I can see this. So it's next to Boulevard. Boulevard. You can see Boulevard on Atlantic Avenue, right from 32 East. So it's like, and across from Old School Square. So this is like a fun happening like area. I'm sure if you ever want to go up to Del Rey on a date night or with girlfriends or something. Yeah. So, um, that's casual. Nice. Really well. They won by four. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll bring you back in for okay. sure. I love her. Um, we had a baseball game today. We won by four, and we're trying to teach um, my youngest son. He is very passionate, very passionate. Yeah. Um, and sometimes it might come out the wrong way. So, and not not in a bad way. But we're trying to teach him. I think that maybe frustration from getting out. As you put it towards your next hit or your next catch or your next throw. Right. And I think it's, it's starting to work. So it's really good. Like how do you channel your embarrassment and frustration into the sport and make it? Right. And, and use it to your advantage. Because right. it's so, he is so passionate that it's, I love it. Like I, I get so excited. And, I mean, I was on the phone with Heather actually. Oh my god. And we're going over the show. And like mid conversation. <laughs> if I, see, if we always wish we could pre tape us getting ready for the show because I'm, what, what, so I'm talking to her and every five seconds she's like, yes, no, oh god, he got her. No, no, we're good. Oh, it's okay. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, I see your teacher. Oh, and it was hilarious. And she's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, that's okay because I'm playing Monopoly. What else was I doing? I was like, wait, hold on. No, you need a snack, you know, whatever. So you have to have water. We're all having water. water. Put lemon in your water. Put your lemon in your water. That's too much lemon in your water. So, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Holly. Uh, so, yeah, it's happening. <laughs> hey, Holly. Well, you got to come up to the new Rock Burger in LA. Yeah. We just made a um, rosemary. I got the menu. I know. Uh, it's coming in. Flip it over. Sorry. Honey, honey, rosemary, lemonade. Oh my god, like it's so complicated. So it had barrel aged rosemary and honey, Kinsey seven year whiskey, fresh squeezed lemon soda, and a rosemary spray. And a little bit of simple syrup. Here's the spray. A little bit of simple syrup. Yeah, delicious. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so we were just talking about our weekend and how you are. Yeah, because we, we usually don't do it all on the weekend, so I kind of like this. It's fun actually doing it on the weekend. Yeah. So we're going to mix it Shake up and it up be all over the place. Yeah. 
So um, we have like people asking us all the time about travel tips and stuff, and spring break's coming up, and people are starting to think about the summer. Yep. And so um, <laughs> that's awesome. There was like a two-year-old just heading for the tripod. Everything's on a tripod here. So, um, so what do you have? This one right here, I'm on Facebook myself, and I'm like, wait a minute. Today, parents, what is happening? One of her articles about traveling. So tell me, tell everybody. So one thing that we try to do every spring break, the past few spring breaks, is to do road trips. Okay. And it's really hard when you have the two kids, and even if you're going to Disney, which is like two hours from here, yes, I'm hungry, I'm bored, I'm thirsty. Right. He took my whatever, she took, well, I don't know how many she is. Well, in your case, it might be a shame. In your case, it's a shame. Dog. No, dog. But she stays home with my parents. Oh. They, they dog sit. No, so it gets to be like annoying. So I created a checklist that I use myself. Oh and I just, and it's on Today Parents. So if you happen to see the link in my Pellerini or if you're on my personal page, yeah. please by all means vote it up. Oh, yeah, we'll share this. Now. So we need yeah. to vote. Wait, so what happens if you get the most votes? What happens? Do you get published on Today Parents? I think so. Okay, we need to work on this, people. Yes, yeah, so it'd be very, very it's cool. fun. It's fun. And I need a checklist for, um, you know. It's just good to have it. Then you can morph it into what you want. I should probably make it, actually, now that we're talking about it, an editable PDF with other. And then you can type it in with your other things that you want and then print it out. Thank you. You just totally motivated me to do that. <laughs> in the middle of your house, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, a little very a little whiskey, and like, you're like, wait a minute. Oh, my kids are here. Whiskey. Editable, editable PDF. Brainstorming. We're just fixing our mic. Um, so, I just posted, if anybody's thinking, and I know everybody, a lot of friends knew that I went on a Disney cruise for the first time. It was super fun, and I'm trying to get more posts out, but one of the posts I just did was tips um, on booking it, and kind of some things to think about, like, so when you book it, and before you get on the ship, or right when you get on the ship, some things to, like, fix and do. Like, one of the, um, I'll give you one of the little tips was, if you want to visit the princesses, it's one of the free things on the ship, and so you have to, you can either stand in line, or you can go ahead and get tickets for it. It was great. So my kids went at 9 o'clock in the morning, had a little breakfast, and went and met Cinderella and Rapunzel. So they were super happy. So that's one of the things that um, I had. I did some research before. I had a couple local cruisers help me, and then there's a few things I learned along the way that hopefully will help you if you decide to go on um, a Disney cruise. So we will post that here. Definitely. And the tips are super helpful because you don't realize like, how much pre-planning you have to do. And I'm not even talking about your packing. I'm even talking about, like you said, did you know that you could get the tickets for the princesses? I actually didn't know and I've been on the cruise three times. Like, that's awesome. Right. Yeah. I mean, I wish you could. I don't think you can see Mickey, but I think it's just the princesses. But still, but still it's like... have that... that you, you could just go the next day. Exactly. Right exactly. There's so really much to do and there's so much to share. So I'm working on it. So hopefully... Um, hopefully I'll have that. I'm piecemealing it out to you. So, um, yeah. Cool. So travel. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now. So spring break. Yes. And spring cleaning. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> no, I was purging. I was purging again. I, uh, I get the old garbage bag and it's like, oh my gosh, I found the Wendy's. Like, and I'm not a fast food person, but in a pinch I needed it. And it was like the little making thing. You know, like... And the toys from the oh, parties. Yeah. I'm in that phase. Like, all oh, the junk. I'm just sitting here, like, this around, brown. And I just filled that's up a garbage bag. It's crazy. So, But that's when you have to do it. I know. I made the mistake of the first time of cleaning out our playroom when the boys were home. Yeah. And I thought it would be great to incorporate them because then you can be like, hey, help me out here. You yeah. know, like a, no. <laughs> no. Oh, 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 where's that? Oh, where's that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Or, oh, I want to play with that. Yeah. Right? Now. No. Like, really? No. No. Yeah. Don't Wait, do so it. do you have any spring tips you have? I have um, spring cleaning tips, like some hacks and stuff on the blog. Um, I'm going to update it a little bit, but um, it's basically like a checklist. Just go through what in each room, like what you need to do. Okay. Just to, like dust the cobwebs off a little bit, you know. It's not, I'm sure, exciting, but I do recommend doing it to your favorite pieces. Like get a playlist. Oh, I do do that when I put laundry oh, away. Oh, great. I got a jam. Yeah. I gotta get my jam on because it's like. Some of it is a good piece. Or I talk on the phone. 
<laughs> like when I empty the dishwasher, I call a friend because then I can get through it. Yeah, I really need it. I took water. Oh, I know. I made it a chore for the boys. They get 50 cents for the top and 50 cents for the bottom. That's part of their chore. And, uh, yeah, but, they have, but I watch them because I get a little worried with like the glasses and stuff like that. But I make it a chore for them. If they don't do it, they don't get paid. So by the way, that's a new thing. I used to give them a flat fee every week. Okay. But I noticed they would vacuum one day and then they wouldn't do it the other day that they were supposed to or things like that. I'm like, I'm not paying you. X amount of dollars for doing half of what you're doing. And I'm not going to sit here and be like, okay, here's 550 instead of 11 or whatever it is, you know? So I made a menu of chores. Oh my God, my dad did this. And they have to go through, and should they, they choose to vacuum, well, no, they get to like 50 cents, 25 okay. cents, things like that. Should they choose to vacuum, which is highly in their favor, because I'm not buying them baseball sleeves anymore, no more iTunes cards, they have to earn it. I love it. Yep. Yeah. And so, I mean, it was music to my ears to have my nine-year-old say, can I vacuum today? And I'm like, oh, she can. Hi, Charlotte. It's like the clouds open the light. No, it's like, oh, it's happening. Yeah, but, yeah. But that's part of spring cleaning, too, is involving your kids in it. <laughs> but not it. in the playroom. No. You have to do that when they're not home. Yeah, get them out. All right, I love that. So um, Dana and I are part of um, this really cool thing that our friend Melissa from the Eyes of a Boy um, dot com, the Eyes of a Boy dot com, which is a website for moms. She's like big and huge and amazing, and she invited us to be part of this March Marriage Challenge. Um, in March, it's March. God, it's March. <laughs> and um, anyway, so yeah, so we uh, yeah, drink, drink some rosemary. So yeah, so. Dana's next. Um, I posted yesterday, and it was, um, you got to read it. It was actually, I, I did it last year, and I actually, if you can read it, I actually re-interviewed my husband. Um, we've been together a long time. Where did you guys meet? Key West Spring Break. Oh. Yeah, his friend was like, kind of, like, like we were the wing people. And then it didn't work out, and then it all worked out. It's a long, dramatic story, which I will share another time. But we're together, and so um, <laughs> we're still together. No, I love this. It's great. So I re interviewed him last year, which was really interesting to see what, like, we're, I'm, I got married in the Catholic Church, and, um, uh, and we had to, you know, go through the little classes and stuff. And I remember meeting and being like, we're all like, what? get to it like we were so young in there. Now I'm like, oh my gosh, like do we still know each other? It's kind of like the dating game a little bit. And it was interesting to like it was funny. And so you have to read that one from last year. And then I did this year, I had kind of like a moment of appreciation um, on my Disney trip. So you have to read about that. It was a little something surprising. It's a great post. Thanks. So and you and then you're coming up so you had an anniversary I already wrote that. No, darn, I should have done it. I know. I saw that. Can I be close to it? Okay. I don't know. Anyway, so, so I've had some nice about your husband. Your husband you know, my husband. He makes awesome guacamole. <laughs> I could write about my husband makes awesome guacamole. Guacamole. And I'll give you the recipe. Yeah. But um, he's, um, so he's, um, he's great. Sorry, I totally, I saw someone outside and I just. We have the window oh, behind us. Um, we'll show you a picture of the rock order, and so it's like we see all the people walking by and staring at us. Yeah. It's like, why would they have that in there? And we're like, hey! Um, no, I'll definitely have it. So my post is going to go live on Monday, and I'm sharing everyone's previous posts. We both are on our Halloween. Um, we are going to. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Pellerini and Local Moms. Yeah, so each so. day we've been sharing on Facebook. We can throw them up on the solo. Yeah, I think it's are all. Well, most of them are, so far, we're South Florida moms. Right. So we've got... And I feel like a lot of the future ones. One Pop Look Family. Carrie's a co-host as well. So they both started in One Pop Family. One Pop Look Family. She changed her name maybe in the last couple months. Um, she was Happy Mama. Now she's One Pop Look Family. She's great. Oh, that's cute. I know. And the eyes of a boy. So they started this together and then invited, you know, us to be a part of it. So I'm, I'm thrilled. It's been good to, like... You know, it's it's a hectic time of year. I feel like March, definitely in South Florida, is very um, it's very event driven. Yeah, lots of what's going on and stuff. And 
We're going to an event after this. Where are we going again? Shakespeare in the Garden. Shakespeare in the Garden for the space. Space line. It's cool. Yeah, we don't have I one. Just, I'm like, it's down there. Like, you guys can see. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to this. We got invited to a dinner, so we will share more of that later. But, yeah, so everything is like event driven. We got invited to. Savor the Avenue. Yes, which I'm very excited so about. We're at Max's Harvest table, so we can't wait because that is a delicious, yeah, delicious place to go also. So they close off Atlantic Avenue, if you've ever been to Delray Beach, they close off Atlantic Avenue and all the restaurants make these long, long, long tables and they all have a theme. And um, last year I was at 50 Ocean and it was Mardi Gras and it was like, I mean seriously, Sounds good to me. Yeah, it was great. So, and it's just fun. You're like sitting with all these people, and you're walking around the avenue. And um, so, get your tickets for that. We'll post some Saber the Avenue information. And then we got invited to busy go go on by the mall. So uh, that's why. Right. I've never been to I know. So it's, that was one of my first blog posts was from Boca Bacchanal. And it was hilarious because I went with my friend Vivian, love you, and we had my dad pick us up. We've been drinking wine. It used to be on Sunday afternoon. And now it's a Friday. They've already had like a thing with Saxon Avenue. And then Friday night they have the Vintner dinners, which are sold out. So um, people within... Um, Boca Del Rey, you know, this area, um, host a dinner with a special wine, you know, brand, yeah, and they have a chef come, it's like, you know, I think it's like 325 a pop, yeah. so, and the next day is the Bacchanalia, and that is craft beer and wine, and I love it because you get the wine glass and the little necklace to put your wine glasses, so you're not, like, setting it down, and you've got your booklet, and you walk around, and then they have all the accessories and local restaurants there, so you can leave and then I think, I believe, you can order wine, like if you, and get a special deal, I think. Oh, you leave. That's yeah. very cool. I read something about that, too, that you can order. That's really, that's yeah. going to be a lot of fun, because, um, and it's our first year going, too, of course. Um, it's our first time going, too, and Rich and I are winos. I know. We love to try to and wine. And Oh, so we'll be posting about that. Oh, thank you, Christy. And thank you about my necklace. Oh, so, and we're also going to be doing a giveaway with a bunch of other bloggers as well. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully yes. it'll be up next week. And you can win tickets to the Bacchanalia. We had a lot of fun. And then, um, what was the other event that's happening? Oh, yeah. So I teamed up with Aventura Mall. And they're doing this art gallery exhibition. And it's a lot of uh, local artists. And it's kid-friendly and family-friendly. And it's from March 7th to the 11th. And they have some really um, fun things. And opening days on Tuesday. I'll be there with my kids. And I believe Thursday is... Um, some kind of kids club event that they're having as well. So there's stuff all throughout the week, so an art is really important. And you're a big artist. I love, uh, yeah. You know. Hi! Hi. Oh, yeah, sorry, you're I'm live! Do you want to say hi? Hi! Nice to meet you. Hi. 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 So Vince got us in here. Shayna was live. Yep. Yeah, she was the one that got us over here. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Good. Yeah, so this is awesome. We're super excited. Um, so how long have you guys been open now? About a month. Oh, wow. Okay. About a month. And, and so if I'm coming here, what do I want? What, I just have to have the one thing on the menu. What should the I want? one thing on the menu. There's a lot of things. I know. It's a huge <laughs> menu. So what's like a signature thing that, like, that you're known for? Oh, of course, maybe I say like rock burgers. Right, I mean, right. There's many of those. Like my personal favorite, I like okay. drunken pretzels. What's I mean, that? I like that? Drunken pretzels. Mm -hmm. Pretzel burgers. You get pretzels. Fresh, 
pretzel buns. Mm -hmm. We got the burger with the beer cheese, and the, the mustard. It's so good. It's one of my favorites. I almost eat that thing every day. So you wouldn't <laughs> tell by the figure. Oh I know. I, I, I work out a lot, so he's, he's, he's always busy running around. I think. I and I running around here, not yeah. Either, so. mm -hmm. I try. I'm gonna try that. And the brunch, amazing. of course. Oh, you have a brunch? Yeah, we're oh, brunch here on Sundays. We start at 10 a.m. Okay. And that, that we get the DJ good. starts at, at noon. And uh, we'll That's be kicking up a notch. We have a very good brunch. We're going for awesome. Our brunch. Oh, good. Because awesome. everybody's always asking me for brunch. I feel like this is hard to find. Yeah, we do five dollar, uh, five dollar mimosas. Or um, do five dollar mimosas on which one you get from? We're on both. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just look. Yeah. We did a five dollar mimosas uh, in this company, so and then fifteen for the guys. Oh, we like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, awesome. Well, cool. Well, thanks for having us. I know, yeah, guys. Definitely. You were so fun. Stephanie was amazing. Yeah, love her. Yeah. I'm glad that we can we can do something for you guys. All right, girl, we appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, awesome. Right. You need anything, today. Les? All right, thanks. All right, cool. Alright, sorry, I need to make sure. I got you some bit. It's like my big head. Heels on. Heels on. So if I took them off, I'd be like here. I know. <laughs> the best presenter goes. I don't know. I don't know. You're so short. I don't know. Tired. I know. I've got the width. 47. Oh, we got to. Oh, the gold. You guys want us to go? I know. I can't see conversation. Problem is, I can't see conversation. It says starter 10 comments so far. So oh. maybe nobody's conversing. Maybe nobody's. Maybe I don't want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to talk? Otherwise, we're just going to drink. I know. No, I okay, know. so we talked about our March marriage challenge. Tune in for that. So, um, events? Yeah. yeah. So, let us know of any events that we may have missed. Uh, post those below that might be fun for uh, South Florida moms to go to. Yeah. I feel like it's really, it's, you're always like, oh, the weekend or whatever. So, it's fun to have some ideas that you can go to, like even just last minute. Like, oh, wait, someone's not talking about Yeah. And Heather's uh, vlog, by the way, Local Moms Food has a calendar of events. I try. Totally in depth calendar of events. So that's like the perfect resource. I just posted um, on SoFlo's Facebook page for restaurant guide, too. Oh, thanks. I, my, my, my first at Rock Burger now. Yeah, I know, definitely. My first thing when I read it was like, holy cannoli, she is. I ate a lot of last year. <laughs> I got to hang out with my food peeps that are on here right now, Shayna and Holly. And um, I got into the food uh, influencer world. And let me tell you, I ate a lot in February Great and March. Though. I know, I got to be at some really awesome, like places that I probably would have never gone to. I would have gone to the same stomping grounds that are, you know, my husband's not a huge foodie, so it's what's familiar, I think, people, you know, go to. But I do, I have those people, moms text me and new moms and people like going, I'm going to Delray tonight, I'm going to Boca, I'm going to Fort Lauderdale. Do you have any recommendations? recommendations? And yeah. I've just happened to live in South Florida for 20 years, but I've never eaten so much food. That's awesome though, they get the experience. Yeah, and it's, so it's, it's great awesome. to have the recommendation of someone you actually know, or kind of, you know, before I actually met Heather face-to-face, -face, I felt like I had a new man from the blog this year. Yeah. So it's great to have that. It's really good. You know what I want to ask you, speaking of us, so my headline, not my headline, my tagline, is a modern mom's point of view. So my question to you out there, you have homework, or you can do it now in the comments, is what does the word modern mean? For modern mom. Modern mom. Modern mom. Yeah. That's, that's what we were talking about. about. Like, what do you think of, because I was reading her tagline, and I was like, what is, it? like, I think she is the modern mom. However, what, what's, what is the perception of a modern mom? And yeah. What do you think of, like, we'd love to see the characteristics, and there's no right or wrong answer, but just yeah, sort of curious to see, you know, based on, you know, so should have her followers are getting, like, the right... Yeah, I want to make sure that I'm providing for you the right. I, I, I love writing about what I love, which is hopefully a lot of it sticking. I love reading what she writes. <laughs> and then, you know, we write about totally different things, so it's fun that we can share each other's yep. stuff. And yeah, so write that in the comments below. Even last Yeah. And then um, last year, I have a couple of you, I did this thing called the Real Blogger Scoop. I had a lot of people wanting to start blogs. Or understand social media, or and um, I did a couple. Um, I guess they were like meetups instead of like, you know, I kept meeting for people coffee one on one, and I said, why don't I just get everybody together? So, but yeah, that's not always easy to do. It's just a hectic time of year and juggling family and business and you know 
hubby and all that. I feel like you have a lot of people together too. They have so many different questions. That yeah, I mean, it was so like great. Online. Like, we totally brainstormed. But um, I find that really just one on one, like, we can get a lot accomplished in a half an hour. So I've decided to go back and start my. Um, Oh my gosh, I'm having a rosemary whiskey brain. Pick my brain. Thank Pick you. Pick my brain. There, well, my brain. brain. Pick my brain. Yeah. So it's called Pick My Brain. So it's like a half an hour. And, um, <clears throat> you know, if you want to go just be as you're an entrepreneur, you want to go with your business, totally, you can email me at Heather at Local Mom Scoop if you're interested. And we can talk about, um, I do have a fee because my brain has a lot of information. I know. But I, I'm doing a special this month. Normally I charge $99 for a half an hour. And that's, I mean, but I'm fast. Like, you better start writing or have me on. And I've had a couple people do it with me. And they're they like, record? Do they record it? I don't know. But they were like, whoa. And I recap. I'm writing too because I, it's almost like, it's not that I'm like a, a fortune teller, but it just starts flowing. It's like, okay, wait a minute. I'm looking at your site. You did that for me on the phone. I know. I'm like, stop. I know. It's sort of my motivation to put it back out there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, I'm gonna do pick your brains, and I'm doing a special right now for March um, for fifty dollars for a half an hour. And I mean, I, I'm a Capricorn, so I'm, I'm all about efficiency. So I don't waste it. Like I'm not like let's talk in fifteen minutes. I'm like we're gonna get in. I'm gonna look at your every, you know, free do a free thing. We'll get in there and get down and dirty. So let me know if that just sits. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I literally, we were talking about the show the other day on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. And I was like, oh, I had a question. I'm like, whatever. And you're like, okay. And I get inspired. I love, I love entrepreneurs. I love people who want to pursue their business. I'm in it. I want to see people totally succeed. I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, it's like the American dream here. Like, you can have something your own. I know you love. And it's not easy. It's a tough road, but it's when you have those wins and good things happen, you're just like, it's so empowering. So the breeze just took your head. Like, and it's like a Beyonce video. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So I'll post about that um, later as well. So we're going to hang out here probably and have another drink. Yeah. And we've got our laptops, so we, you know. Still more work. to do work. And we're off show. to Shakespeare in the Garden. Yes. We're excited about that. We'll post a few pics about that tonight. Definitely. And check out our Instagram stories because we are going to do some shots around here and then shots this evening at Shakespeare on the Garden. So be sure to tune into those. And um, I don't know. I think that's it. I don't oh, like oh, Wednesday. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We're at Bloomingdale's. We're going to Bloomingdale's and we're sharing spring trends and we're interviewing um, the GM of Bloomingdale's. So you have to tune into that. I think we said 12. Right? I think I feel like 12 o'clock. My mommy brain. Yeah, so the event invite will go out. Like the event. Yeah. We'll post make it go out. And invite the guys. But yeah. It's 12. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, Bloomingdale's spring trends. Because I actually want to know some of the trends. I mean, I've seen I mean, some, but I like to kind of like see what South Florida like what, how you can morph it into South Florida style. And to see like a whole outfit though too. I yeah. think that's really important yeah. too because I could, I, my problem a lot of times is like I'm shopping and I buy a shirt and then I buy a pair of pants and then, but like I get home and I look in my closet and I get the yeah, eye roll from wear. my husband but I have nothing to wear. There's nothing, yeah, nothing Yeah, you need to. I'm a big advocate of basics and I'm off, which I think this is like a basic white shirt but it's like trendy for like the season off the shoulder. Ruffles and all that is super hot. So yeah, I actually do know trends. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm curious to see what Lumi Del has. Because they always have, I know, but they always have some interesting stuff and they always have like their own um, exclusive uh, items and stuff like that. So yeah. we'll be sharing that. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Yeah. All right, we're going to sit down, grab a drink, finish that one Yeah. So we hope you guys have a fabulous rest of the weekend. Like yep. I said, if you're in South Florida and you're inside, get out. Yeah, get out. It's, it's gorgeous amazing. out wherever you are. Like sit on your lawn. I don't know. Do something. It's get a blanket. Yeah. Yeah. We did that last weekend. So you can go to SoCo Moms on the Go on Facebook. We have a Facebook page now and Instagram. And an Instagram. So we'd love for you to go and like and share and follow us on both of those as we build that. Um, we're building the building. We're building. Yes. And then, um, what else? You can find the 
me Dana at I'm at Pellerini.com. You can also find me at um, Pinterest. It's Evie Peller, but everything else is Pellerini for Flames. Um, and I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. And I'm localmomscoop.com. And you can find me everywhere. Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as Local Mom Scoop. So we'll see you next Wednesday at Bloomingdale's. Tune in. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.